After Sharon Draper's book, Out of My Mind, has spent four years on the best-selling list, we are finally able to get our hands on her sequel, Out of My Heart, in bookstores now. And Sharon is joining us right now this morning. Thanks for being with us on Hometown Living. Good morning. I'm delighted to be here. Well, Out of My Mind was named one of Time's 100 most influential books of all time and has appeared on over 40 state award winning reading lists. Let's talk about what that felt like as you headed into the, the writing process for the sequel. It was a huge, huge undertaking because Out of My Mind was so popular and so well used in schools all over the country that how can I write something else? How, how can I top this? So I had a year with nothing to do and time to focus. So I started thinking about what Melody's next step would be. So I sent her away from her usual support system of her mother and her father and the next door neighbor uh, and sent her to summer camp where she uh, has to meet a whole new world of people and a whole new world of, uh, of, of, of differences and challenges. She learns to ride a horse. Are you, when you're, when you're talking to those that have read your books and just really the impact that it has made on them, you know, were you surprised at just how powerful that this story was resonating with young people? Um, it was it was a, it was very gratifying to know because I've literally received hundreds of emails and letters from teachers and young people and adults that say, "What happened to Melody? What happened to Melody?" And I said, "I'm done, no more." But I had to tell. She called to me and she said, "You've got to tell more." So I gave her a whole new chapter with all new uh, responsibilities, and I've already tabbed the book. So I know the good parts. <laughs> I love that we already know the, the, the good parts and we can get that, that sequel that's out now. Well, let's talk a little bit about, you had mentioned, you know, Melody is in a whole new environment with a whole new potential support system. You know, what does that look like for her as a character and, and that journey for her? Um, as a character that cannot walk, cannot talk, cannot function on her own, um, people tend to, uh, outsiders sometimes might say, feel sorry for her, but she says, don't ever, ever feel sorry for me. She's absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. And so she, and she wants the challenge. She looks forward to the challenge. So she gets to camp, mom and dad say goodbye. And she has to meet her, um, she has to meet uh, all new friends. Actually for the first time, she has friends mm -hmm. for the very first time in her life. She can say, I have friends because nobody wanted to be a friend with her in the first book. So friendship is extremely important for all of us. And I'm glad to know that I created just the perfect set of friends for her. Well, being an educator yourself, you know, how do you see some of those friendships work when you're observing, you know, them in your classroom and kind of uh, bringing them to life uh, in this beautiful story? Uh, because I spent so much time with young people, I, I will, I'm able to capture the nuances of what it's like to be 11, 12, 13 years old. Um, they're a unique set of young people. They're not babies anymore and they're not adults. And they're searching for a way to connect with the world of where their place is going to be in the world. I loved teaching that age group. And so that's the age group that most of my books are, are focused on. They are focused on that very beautiful age group. Well, let's talk about, you know, this, the sequel, getting our hands on the sequel. You know, of course we can go to where books are sold, but also your website as well, SharonDraper.com. You know, we are so excited to be able to feature your sequel here. And how does it feel like, you know, you had said you had a year of nothing to do. Now we have a sequel. What does it feel like just to release it into the world, to be able to give this gift to your readers? It's like my new baby has just been born. And so uh, I, I welcome her into the world and I, I'm excited to share her 
with uh, readers from everywhere. I'm just really, really excited to be able to share my new baby with everybody. Well, Sharon, I can definitely feel the excitement this morning. I'm going to give your website out once again so people can get their hands on the sequel. And even if they haven't read the first, uh, the first installment, you can make sure that you can get both of those and start your journey with this character, Melody. Head over to SharonDraper.com uh, for more information um, and to see the other books that she has written as well. Well, there's more hometown living.